I'd like to invite now Andrew and Nicole Connard to come forward along with their son, John, for the sacrament of Christian baptism. And I got to tell you, it's always fun when we have a chance to baptize the child of our pastors. And uh, many of you know, most of you know, uh, Andrew and Nicole are two of our outstanding pastors here at Church of the Resurrection. Those of you online, Andrew has been your pastor, the pastor of our online congregation for the last couple of years, and is now heading over to be a pastor at Resurrection West with Molly. And uh, as we're preparing for the move into the new building, Nicole has been one of our congregational care pastors and now is focusing her attention on uh, mentoring young people who are going into ministry and also our mentoring program for seminary students. And we're very grateful for the work that both of you do. And it's a great privilege and joy to serve Christ with you. I'm honored to be your pastor and co-laborer in Christ. And, uh, and today as we prepare to baptize John, I remind you that baptism is the outward and visible sign of a covenant that God makes with us and we with God. In our baptisms, God reaches out and offers us the gift of salvation before we even know to ask for it. And God says to us, each of us, you are mine, you belong to me, and I will love you and care for you and wash away your sins and fill you with my spirit and give you a church family and, and you'll be mine not only now but forever. That's the promise God offers us and baptism is the sign of that promise offered to us and our choosing to be baptized or having our children baptized is our way of accepting that gift and that promise and pledging our lives to Jesus Christ. And when we're little, of course, we don't understand that. And so we really just count on our mommies and daddies to nurture us in the faith. And Nicole, John is counting on you, and God is counting on you. You're going to nurture him and show him the tenderness and mercy and love of God. And Andrew, you're going to paint a picture for him of the love of his heavenly Father. And, and then the two of you, by your words and by your example, will help him to know Jesus Christ. I ask you, are you willing to do this, to live your lives before him after the example of Christ, that he might know Jesus through you? And then will you raise him up in the church so that from this body of believers, and if you're ever appointed somewhere else, which I pray you're not, but if you ever are, from that body of believers, but from Christians who will surround you in the church and surround him, will you raise him in the church? We will. Very good. Would you come see me? Hi there. How are you? What name is given this child? John Ryan Connard. John Ryan Connard. We baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this oil is a sign of Christ's claim on your life and the Holy Spirit's presence in you. And Lord, we pray that by the power of your Spirit, you would seal this child as yours now and always. Amen. All right, I'm going to turn you around here so everybody can see you well. This little guy is going to need your love and care. He's going to need your prayers and your encouragement, your blessings. He's going to need you to witness for him what it means to be a follower of Jesus. So I ask you, will you do these things, and will you be his church family? All right, let's pray together. God, Andrew and Nicole recognize that their, ch their child, their son, is a gift from you. And they pray that you would watch over him and care for him. They present him to you today, O oh God, asking that you might be his Lord, his Savior, his constant companion and abiding friend now and for the rest of his days. Bless them with wisdom and grace and strength to raise their son so that he knows you. And bless their home with faith, hope, and love now and always. Amen.